Hey guys, so today I am talking to you about highlighters. A while ago, highlighters became one of my favorite accessories, I guess, in makeup. I think that they can really change your look and they can make you looking dull to make you looking fantabulous. So I decided to talk to you about some of the different highlighters I have found. I think I only have one of these that I don't really like, which technically it's not a highlighter, so there's a reason for that, but I used it for highlighting. But all the other ones are pretty damn good, and I think they have their own characteristics. And I think depending on your skin color, yeah, and like your um, undertones, it, one of these can be well for you, while the other ones can kind of be lackluster. So depending on your skin tones, and then I guess even on your skin type, because you wouldn't want something too shimmery if you're really oily. But I am really oily, and I like the super shimmery highlighters. So I think it's up to you. I have two liquid, one cream, and four powder highlighters to share with you guys today. Um, so let's start with the one I have on my face today, which is probably one of the most iconic highlighters. This is Mary Luminizer, aka the Luminizer um, from The Balm. This is pretty much a goldeny, shimmery highlight. This is as probably as shimmery as they get. I'm going to do close-up swatches because you probably can't really see. But the reflectiveness is definitely showing in the swatch. I have this here on my Cupid's bow, down my nose, and on that side of my face. And this just looks fantabulous. I would definitely recommend this. You do have to be careful with the lighter hand. I do go in with a fluffier brush and tap it off incessantly before putting it all over my face. Because a lot of this can look streaky. I have noticed that when I, if I don't tap it off... It looks like I just put a, um, a shivery streak on my face rather than a glow like it is today. So I definitely want you to remember to tap off your brush. But overall, this is a really great um, highlighter. I have nothing to complain about it. It does what it does. I know a, people, a couple people have said, actually, that it's too shimmery for them. Then don't highlight. That's kind of the point of a highlighter. So, yeah. And plus, the packaging is just adorable. It's dirty. Um... There is no, nothing is wasted. It's very, like, sleek and compact. The mirror um, is humongous. Like, I can look at half of my face at this angle. So, I think it's great, and I really recommend this guy. Next, there's this one by Physician Formula. This is their Mineral, mineral Wear Talc Free Bronzer Brightener in the color Light Bronze. This one packaging is not my forte. This does this thing a lot, so it makes that weird, like, squeaky sound when you open it sometimes. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. And, but this is again another very, um, yellowy tone, goldeny bronzer. This one is slightly more orange than the Luminizer, and also has less of a glow. It is still super shimmery, but it doesn't, is like, the Mary Luminizer has a glow to it. It is just very luminizing, shimmery, but glowy at the same time. This one is like shimmery. Just the shimmery creates a glow, but it doesn't like the product itself does not glow. If that makes any sense whatsoever in any state of mind. Though it is really nice for just dusting around the top of the skin. It's also nice in the spring and summer when you want to like make yourself look a lot more glowy and fake tanned but then in the winter if you are super pale i would not recommend this this is the lightest shade so if you are pale e then that could work but if you're super pale i would recommend to stay away from it there this packaging is super bulky i find it is humongous it looks like a ufo um it does come with a brush that is very thick and dense so this is not my favorite thing to highlight. So I guess it will give you that light highlight kind of thing. But I do not enjoy using this brush. So I just keep it in its plastic. Actually, I pretty much could just, should just throw this away. But it will give me less of a hassle. But yeah. But when it's closed, the packaging is pretty sturdy. But when I first opened it, I was like, oh, sham. I broke it kind of thing. So I'm not a fan of that. Next is an eyeshadow, which is, I used as a highlighter for the longest time. I think this is the oldest out of all these. Um, this is CoverGirl's French Vanilla. This is pretty much, that's how it looks. So it's a very cool tone highlighter. 
and then when I put it on my skin it just looks pretty much shimmery it is impossible to pick up on a brush so as you can see I kind of like well, I don't know if you guys can see I'll do a zoom up um, so you can see um, but I've gotten one of those spoolies and I've graded it across it to try and get some kind of product onto my brush so I wouldn't even recommend this as an eyeshadow I think it's very plain and the packaging again there's room there for one of those sponge applicators which i've lost um but if you don't need there's no sponge applicators that big for a single shadow and there's no mirror this is just crappy plastic material so this is probably my least favorite packaging like even compared to the bulky this is gym formula one um i just really don't like this one Next is uh, the last powder one, and this is, again, another eyeshadow I think it's supposed to be. Um, this is from Miss Adorios, and this is the uh, eyeshadow duo in Fairy Tale. I don't know if you guys, you guys can kind of see. It comes with two different highlighting shades. Like, when I first thought, saw this, I thought it was exactly a highlighter. But this is how they describe it. Flawless finish, long-lasting wear, high pigmented color, so I guess that kind of gives it away. High quality formula, ultra smooth and blendable, and then can be worn wet or dry. So aside from that, you kind of can see that it would be used as a highlighter. I think this is great. Um, my favorite is the more yellowy tone one here, which has less shimmer, I like leaning against the guitar, because it gives you just a glow from within. Well, this one here is quite comparable to the Betty Luminizer, I find. Um, but I really like this one from this duo. I have not used this on my eyes, matter of factly. I just used it as a highlight, and I really like that one for a day where I want to glow, but I don't want to look kind of thing. So, I really like this. And then, out of my, the other three, the liquid and creams, my oldest is the What's Up. And if you guys watched me for a long time, I have loved this. And I was so, like, with it, that I would, like, use it, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Blend it on. I was so careful with it because I was like, it's not going to last me quite long, but this is lasting me forever. And now that I have so many highlighters, I barely reach for it. This is the pinkiest out of the ones that we've tried so far. Um, it's down there, but you, I'm going to show you guys close-ups because you guys cannot see any of these. Um, it's the pinkiest, and then I felt like when you rubbed it in, you kind of took off what was underneath it. So, I, I think at one point I was using this underneath my foundation, which gave you the glow from within. Like, matter of doubt, it will give you that glow. I just, it felt like when I was rubbing my skin, you were taking off some of the foundation and other things that you applied before you applied this. Though you know you have to apply your cream products before you apply your powder products, just in general. I like this. And I do like the concept of it, but it just doesn't execute as well as I thought it would. Next, I have two more Bennett's highlighters. Let's start with the full size. This is the other pinky highlighter that I have. This is High Beam, and I have a full size of this guy. And this is a very creamy highlighter. Oh my goodness. So that, so you can actually see that swatch that. So without blending anything in, it does get a little crusty around the edges. So I'm not a very big fan of that. But a little bit goes the longest way. Like I kind of wish that they just sold the miniature versions of this. Because you're only supposed to keep these for 12 months. 12 months? 6 months. 6 months! There is no way you would finish this in 6 months. Like you can use it every day, 2 times a day. And you would not finish this in a month. Like that little dot that I did highlighted would highlight your whole cheekbone. Like that's all you need. Like you can just see that one streak there now. Like it is super reflective and it's very pink. Um, but it's not shimmery like some of the other ones. So I guess that's a plus side if you're looking to it. But I just wish they sold it in smaller sizes because I would not finish this in the desired amount of time. And last is my favorite summer highlighter. This is sunbeam and oh my opinion on these liquidy highlighters um they're just okay they're not my favorite but i like them better than the uh, what's up one which i feel takes away from the makeup this is a pretty much a straight up bronzy highlighter this is like hawaiian glow in a highlighter like seriously i love it for the summer if i want to look like i've been away um then this is my go-to though it is a lot more shimmery than high beam I don't know why I'm like, oh yeah, you can totally see it. Um, but I just love it. I think it's gorgeous and it gives, it's great for darker complexions. Like, not too dark. 
but like medium tone complexions I think that you guys would rock this and then also when I'm tan I think it's look phenomenal with this highlighter this is my go-to traveling highlighter and it's a golden bronze complexion highlighter that's what they call it and yeah I love it and I would definitely recommend it um, so I hope this some helped you with the different undertones and different options that you have regarding highlighters. Like I said, there is nothing that I actually hate. Like, the CoverGirl one is kind of sucky as an eyeshadow and as a highlighter, but I did hit pan on it. Um, so, yeah. So that is all for now. I am going to go take my picture thing now for the cover photo of this video. And... I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.